One Owner Car Guy, OneOwnerCarGuy.com, out here at the lakeside yard, getting ready to do some paint work. Look at that there, Ford. Woo, buddy. Them hubcaps. Oh man, such a nice car. You guys see the interior. We're gonna do something on it soon. The carpet, man. Got the beagles barking. And I'm gonna show you this hood. I'm not happy with the match. And at the end, I'm not happy with what I bought to fix the match. Got parts, man. I showed you some parts videos. In fact, Matt, pop a parts link video over here, or over here, or over there, or over here. I don't know, somewhere. And, you know, do that. This one's going out now. Checking out the F350. And on the way back here, it's going to tell you a little bit about the free car. That's right. Free car. God, this guy's an idiot yelling free car all the time. And whoo, no matter, man. It's a free car, for God's sakes. Now, this turned out pretty yellow. Pretty yellow. And looking like that, it's not that close. I didn't like what I got. But I don't like what they gave me to replace it either. There's three colors they came up with. This is the other one. Look at this. Definitely wider than that. Look at this. And definitely wider than the truck. I don't want to paint the truck this color, the hood, and then have it be like that. So I actually sprayed a piece of a can, like I do sometimes. And as you'll notice, <clears throat> it's not as white as the lid. So it's definitely not as white as the lid. But it's definitely wider than the car or the truck. And I'm going to go on the other side here to where we can put this up next to a shady part. How about this? Pretty close, but it's not off no more than the other is, I'm thinking. Um, pretty close. But it's definitely wider. Okay, so that's what we got on this. Now, you can see it's definitely wider than the Wimbledon. Now, this is Oxford on the can, Wimbledon on the hood. Now, what's on the truck? I have no clue. I'm thinking Wimbledon non-faded or something. I tore up this paper a little bit because I wasn't sure what I was going to do, and I'm still not. Um, I got a nice finish on it. It's a little drier than I like in a couple areas, but it looks good. And, you know, we're painting outdoors and just kind of touching up something. But... Look at this. Trent. Trent's going to look too. You know, I'm not thinking that that's such a bad match when you really consider. Can you, let's do a three thing. Grab that can. A three comparison. I mean, I don't know what to do. Honestly, the can looks grayer than everything else. It looks pretty close to the truck. It really does. That's pretty close. And he's right, that's that's pretty close. And when I took the tape off, I looked, I'm like, that's pretty close. So I'm just going to disclose it like this, I think. Um, I don't think I can bring myself to repaint this again. It's close. And I think it's just going to be, I think I'm just going to have another variation of closeness. Can you hold this down? I'm not sure if I'm going to retape it yet. You know, and that's the deal. It's choices. Nothing's perfect. I didn't pay huge money to have this color matched. I bought duplicolor paint that's good and tried to match it um, not such a good match I'm not hundred percent happy but sometimes you got to make a choice and just go with what you got um, five cans of this with my discount was 40 bucks you know I could get online for that but it's nice to go to O'Reilly and get it at that discounted out I don't want to put 40 more bucks in the time into it I'm thinking I mean I can tell there's a difference I'm no dummy well like I've said, I don't know about that. But, you know, it's not such a huge difference that I think the other one's going to be just as much difference the other way. I really do. Well, you'll see the review up, and you'll know what we did, and you'll be like, that idiot! I can't believe he did that! I hope you're enjoying some of these behind-the-scenes things. I'm going to get a little bit better at filming them. I've got a tripod that I'm going to bring out here, and all that stuff, and I'm going to try and do some neat videos like this. Hope you enjoy. Subscribe, like, comment, tell me about it. I love talking on here to you guys that I meet. That's my favorite part of YouTube. I do like making the videos and I like working. Working on cars is a blast. But talking to the people and hearing all the input and 
just meeting people's friends on um, YouTube here. High high point of my life. It's the highest point of my life. I love it. It's what I do for. It's what I do all day, all night. Thanks for watching. We'll talk to you. One owner, CarGuy.com. As we both started talking about this here, I'm gonna take this off and see. You got. I'm not selling a perfect truck. It's just the hood was a bit worse than this, and I figured I'd make it look nicer. And it does look nicer. Honestly, that's going to be close enough for all intents and purposes here. Um, it looks decent. And we're going to go with it. It's definitely yellower. I'm definitely not exactly happy with it. Um, I would like this. I would like that. You know, you don't get everything you want in life. If you got everything you li wanted in life, you'd be the unhappiest person in the world because you'd have nothing to want. You'd sit around picking your nose, thumb up your butt, nothing to do. I mean... You can't have everything you want. So, I got a yellow hood. OneOwnerCarGuy.com What if I just wanted a yellow hood? There, I could just say, Hey, why is the hood yellow? That people are going to say, Well, that's a new race thing. You know, them kids, they paint them flat black and they put little scoops. When you're older, you paint them just to off yellow a little bit. That's what it is. It's a new thing. And I'm starting it right here on OneOwnerCarGuy.com Well, I stood back a bit because I'll tell you, you just think about this a hundred different ways and you're doing a final product here and I want to give a good look and so Trent's got it held up to it and it's a different color it's as much into the shades of gray as the other one is into the shades of yellow and I tried to show it back a ways and like here you can see all three that's the deal though oneownercarguy.com well one owner car guy and I kinda lied to you I sure did I don't like it now I don't like it. I think I like that better. And the story of the day is he ain't got no soap in there. No soap. And it is a little bit easier with the soap. And I am going to lightly scuff this up with 400 again. And the more water you keep between it, it does get it cutting a little better. And it keeps your paper in a little nicer shape too. As you cannot tell by that right there. Actually, if I wouldn't have been filming. Actually, I'm not going to take my ring off and do this. Once I got to the corner there, I realized I'm just going to turn the job over to the sand and professional for the moment. And I'll tell you, this, don't be afraid of this. Um, if you're doing this to your car, it's 400. And it's, it's pretty gritty. It's not real gritty. You ain't got a chance to figure it this way. Primer covers 80 grit scratches. And that's not a science because sometimes your 80 will grit in a bit harder and you get left with something. But for the most part, it'll cover an 80 grit scratch. And Trent's gonna be real careful of this right here. As you can see, it rubs through a little much. And that's because you kind of palmed over the whole thing. And make sure, and on this, you're going to want to go like this on this part. And then you go like this on this part. Trent knows this. I'm not telling him this. He just was doing it fast on camera. But you're going to do it down here. And then kind of get your finger on it right there. That's what she said. And do it all three places instead of going over it like that. Or you're going to get stuff like that. And that's where this is a real show where we're not coming back after we touched it up and stuff and be, all right, we're back with our perfect substandard medium here and we're going to apply some $500 an ounce paint to it with a $7,000 spray gun that has a $400,000 evaporative air system and, and it'll put the air out at the exact right precise amount of air per square millisecatator. So, no, that's not us. This is spray can outside making it look good. Cheaply. So, we're gonna go ahead and sand this all down. And it can get a little gummy and kind of roll over on you. And sometimes you don't mind if she rolls over on you. But, oneownercarguy.com, we'll be back in a minute and show you some more. One owner car guy, and I'm back here again. And this time, we got a different color <clears throat> and as you can tell this here actually came a little bit closer it looks like 
after the fact. And this here, neither one looks, <laughs> neither one looks close enough. So, one way or another, this sucker's done tonight. That's all there is to it. And my wind is still going a lot more than I would like it to tonight. That's why working inside is so nice. Pisser! You got a great shop, man. I used to have. I never am set up anymore, though. Well, in the end, we shall end up seeing how this looks. And I'm gonna go ahead and I'm kind of not getting a lot of what I'm wanting to here in this camera. And I'm going to get a different way to do this to where I can show this better at some point. But right now, this is what I've got. And I'm going to upload it. Now, my can is running out. So we're going to end up stopping here pretty quick and using the rest on the front, but I've got a little bit of a coat on there. Works so much better on an edge like this, or on a straight up and down part, is what I really mean there. Well, one can down. And I actually want to get a nice coat on this before I move on. We've done quite a few projects like this for the camera lately. Hope you enjoy these. And that it helps some way on something you're doing. And I hope this matches better than it did last time.
almost two cans down. To get about half of the hood. And this is going over a nice five can coat that was lightly sanded down. Well, I don't know what else to say. I'm just here having a good old time painting this truck. And I'm actually gonna do this rest of this here, one more coat. And then we're gonna go over to the other side, get a coat or two on it, and then come back over here. OneOwnerCarGuy.com. You can see lots of my inventory on there. And anything else, you can call me about anything you see on there. It's 406-544-6919. Wow. That's pretty cool, too. I can't hold it still. I'm sorry. I'm on a bench and I'm trying. Okay. I have something in my paint here. I'm just not liking it. It's a bug. That sucks. There'll always be a little something there. That's what she said. This front piece is hard to keep looking good as you keep overspraying stuff from the top down onto it. Okay. I don't like the way it's turning out for the most part here, but I'm at a point where I'm at my last, my last coat of paint. I've done a few. And at some point, you just gotta stop painting. That's all there is to it. One owner car guy, oneownercarguy.com. Get a couple more cans here. And do it to it. I don't know if you'd be able to see this if I put it over on here. I've done it before. Ah! I hate. I absolutely hate. Being on camera. Anyway. This is what I'm ending up with here. One owner car guy. That's not with us. Not really. Probably in a second or something. And then I get this other side painted. Oh my! I won't even use that one till last. Although it should be fine. By sticking it back in there, she said that too. I'm not going to chance it. To say the least, from 
this side, it's really hard to get front to back in one swipe. And these tips are a lot easier than the hammer coat duplicolor tips. I like these. Actually, this is a duplicolor. They're over there. Scrapping cars. I'll take you over and show you that someday. It's pretty cool to watch. And tear them apart. Well. I'm hoping this turns out better. Anything's better than a chipped up loop we had, but That's three cans. And you can see it's a little bit patchy here because it needs a nice coat on top. And I'm gonna go back and get this warmed up can and hope that four will do it. And I can return that one because I really don't wanna use it. Well, I'm gonna hold on to the camera for the rest of this and Hope that it looks pretty good. So here we go, last coat. Whoa, I almost fell on that. Man, I'm all zoomed up. Doesn't that suck? I was zooming you. That whole time. I'm sorry. I don't know how much I'll take out of that. You might be stuck 
with what you see there. Because there just ain't no one painting it once you, once you painted it. Um, so here we go. Back to this side. Should be a little wetter than the other side. <laughs> it's hard to get evened out on this. It's a lifted truck, man. Well, that's obvious, right? Shirt's dragging a little bit. Gotta watch your shirt. Gotta watch your camera. Lots of things to watch. Like that there was a little bit yellow from the last coat and I didn't like it. Honestly, that should be. And you can see it's a little, not as smooth as I'd like. But, I think we are done with this hood. Not like I like it, but that's okay. It looks a lot better than it did. Which was the point. And if you wanted to do this at home on your truck, I would recommend if it's something this tall, I should take the hood off. It's a pain to do with the hood on. Okay, well, there's your final finish. And we are done. <laughs> ah! Looks pretty close. We shall see here in a while. One owner car guy, oneownercarguy.com. And that is the ending of your stuff here. Partscarguy.com. That's right. Partscarguy.com. You can go to that site and check it out too. I'll be selling lots of parts. I'll give you a little bit of a ending on this in a while. And thanks for watching. We'll talk to you. Check out my other channels. Subscribe, like, comment, all that good stuff. One owner car guy. And this will be the ending. And I've kind of left this part off till the end because it's the end. And you'll see the full review of this truck, beautiful truck. But as you can tell, it's not 100% match there. Um, and neither color was. And like I say, you can see where we got this kind of stuff here. And I'm not interested in wrapping over the edges. However, I did put a little bit of clear right there. And you can kind of tell that it matches just a little bit better. But it's not enough, you know, I don't want to mess with it anymore. And you can see right up there, not rusty or nothing, but it's got that little area. Well, next thing you know, I'm going to wrap it around the windows in this. Somebody needs to make that choice and actually pay for a color match. And that's what needs to be done on this one. Like 85 bucks or so, you could get a quarter paint and uh, uh, tape this thing off and make it look awesome. Well, full review coming up. Um, Nathan, 406-544-6919. OneOwnerCarGuy.com. Make sure and check out my website. There'll be 60 to 80 pictures of this. Um, once you see the full-length video up, it'll be for sale. Thanks for watching. We'll talk to you.